Welcome ladies and gentlemen to Twickenham Stadium for the first test match between the Guru Dragons and England. This should be a cracker because the Guru Dragons have won all three their first two matches. So this is the start of the three test series against England. The starting lineup for the Guru Dragons today is Robert Hoxley and Williams forming the front row with Rudel and Brett forming the second row. Then the loose trio is Morgan and Kabule and Swart with Logan Davies and Gargoni at 9 and 10. Regan Phillips and James Marchant in the centre combination with the Cross, Jones and Murray forming the back three. So this is a really important game for all these players as this is their test debut. Looking at England's lineup, Joe Marler, Jamie George and Kyle Sinclair in the front row with Itoje and Laws forming the second row combination. The loose trio combination of Curry, Underhill and Bunny Polo. Then Youngs and Ford at 9 and 10. Farrell and Tuilagi forming the centre combination. And then May, Watson and Daly forming the back three for England. Right, so let's get this game underway, ladies and gentlemen. This is the first test between the Guru Dragons and England at Twickenham. It's going to be Gergone to start this match for us. Immediately Martian takes it in and the Guru Dragons has an early opportunity here. Now Hoxley up to Williams. Williams finds a little bit of space. Right, 10 meters from the try line. The big prop forward making major yards there. Now Piet Swart out to Morin. Back to Jones. Now Logan Davies. They still run about 8 meters from the try line. Now Rudel. He gives to the Gross. Now Hoxley. Piet Swart. He gives to Martian. Martian 5 meters from the try line now. Now Hoxley again, tried to go on his own, run about three meters from the line. Nakabule takes it in himself, he gets tackled into touch. So a good start here by the Guru Dragons, putting England under immense pressure early on. Now Jamie George is going to throw this first line out. Seems like he's going to go for Itoje, he gets it. Kicked away by Young, and it goes up to the 10 meter line of England. So another at attacking opportunity for the Guru Dragons here. Who's he going to find is Hoxley. Seems like he's going to do go to Nakabule first. Finds him pretty well. Now Davies out to Phillips. Phillips gets tackled. Oxley out to Nakabule, to Gorgoni, <coughs> to Martian. Martian run about again 10 meters from the try line. Now Jones out to Nakabule. Phillips back inside to the cross. Release. The Guru Dragons looking really good. Morin back inside to Phillips. Now Riddle, Brett, Robert to Morin. And Hoxley. Can Hoxley go all the way? Yes, he can. Try in the corner for Hoxley. And the Guru Dragons starts off with a bang against England. A lot of people expected this after their great start against the three club sides. But just look at the handling from this Guru Dragons. Magnificent. And I must say Hoxley is quite the try scorer. He's already scored for the Guru Dragons before. And he gets the honor of scoring the first test try for the Guru Dragons. Unbelievable stuff here early on from, from the Dragons. Now Gurgoni is going to try and convert this. All three flyoffs have played really well so far. And that's straight through the middle again. So the Dragons up by 7 points to nil against England after just about 18 minutes. 
Ford is going to kick in for us again. Kicks it quite deep. It's going to be Nakabule out to Gergoni who finds a little bit of space. Gergoni up to halfway. Turnover by, by Curry. Now an opportunity for Ford. Release. They're in the middle between the 10 metre line and the 22 is England. Got a check to Ilangi. Turnover by Roberts. Brilliant stuff from them now. Swart being tackled. Moran takes it up. Now Logan Davies. He finds a little space. Chip kick ahead. Up to the 22 metre line but collected by England. Big tackle on Young. Itauje getting tackled back as well. Big tackles coming from the Dragons and another turnover ball. Now Gagoni gives to Moran with a little chip ahead. Can he pick it up? So close from the line and England steals the ball again. Daly kicks ahead up to halfway. Now it is Murray. Goes to Nakabule. Gurgoni back inside to Davies. Now Moran. Martian. Martian beats one. Kicks ahead. Managed. No. Curry gets it. And now Anthony Watson with all the space in the world. Tackled there by Logan Davies. Turned over as well from him. Now Nakabule to Williams. Entertaining stuff here, ladies and gentlemen. Now Logan Davies to Gargoni. Out to Martian. Martian to Jones. Jones. He passes to Brett. Brett to Morin. Morin has looked really good so far. Up to the 22 meter line is the Guru Dragons. Now Phillips. Out to Nakabule. Oh, he passes a wild one. Gorgoni collects now the cross. It's still on the attack. 37 minutes gone. Now Davies inside to Phillips. Release. They're looking a lot better than when they started the campaign. Oh, Nakabule. He's been good. Swart has been good. Now Martian. Morin. Turnover by England there, so a missed opportunity, but another turnover from the Guru Dragons, now Phillips, back to Swart, can they attack before half time, now Phillips, close to the 22 meter line, the Guru Dragons go, Gurgoni out to Swart, Now, what are they going to do? Davies out to Williams, to Brett. Lots of space for the cross, and he's going to go into the corner as well. Try time again for the Guru Dragons. And England in some serious trouble now. Well, there's only been one team in this whole game so far, and it's not been England. They've been silenced here by the Guru Dragons. Absolutely phenomenal play from them. I expected a really close game today, but I must say the Guru Dragons have blown England away so far. Gurgoni straight through the middle, 14 nil half time. So the form they carried from the Gloucester game is showing here against England. And Eddie Jones will probably have a lot to say about this going into half-time. 81% possession for the Guru Dragons, 72% territory, 8 line breaks and only 11 tackles, 7 offloads. That is incredible stuff. Let's go and have a look what the second half brings us as Fort will restart this game for us so here we go will the Guru Dragons continue their great form or will England come back with a bang Logan Davies to Williams loose pass collected by England 
England hasn't been really good when it comes to ruck time today. Lots of stolen ball. Now George Ford, they form a mall. They're just outside the 22 of the Guru Dragons. Now it's Underhill. They're making their way up to the 22 meter line now. Anthony Watson beats one but gets thumped in the second tackle. Now Mauro Itoje, knock on from Jamie George. And it seems like they want to counter attack here. Pietzwat out to Ben Jones. Oh, Jones also knocks it on. So they are going to come back for the first infringement by Jamie George. So it's going to be a scrum feed to the Guru Dragons. 48 minutes gone. The feed to the scrum looks pretty good. Solid scrum from both teams. Let's see what the Guru Dragons does with this. Now Regan Phillips. He has a go at them now. Jones back inside to Gurgone. Out to Nakabulo who finds a little bit of space. But he's been tackled into touch. So it's going to be a line out for England. Between the 22 meter line and the 10 meter line of the Guru Dragons. Throw in by George finds Itoje. Now Farrell out to George. Now Underhill tackled by Nakabule. He almost stole the ball there. Now Curry in intercepted by Gagone. They've got a little bit of space on the outside. Now James Martian. Martian puts it onto the boot. Swart is chasing, so is Regan Phillips. Anthony Watson, will he get there first? Yes, he will. And that's going to be a restart on the 22 meter line. England totally outplayed today. 57 minutes gone. Doesn't look like the Gurus can do anything wrong today. Oh, just as I said that, they make a terrible pass. But, like I say, everything going according to plan for them today. Every loose pass gets found by a brilliant little pass again now, Logan. Oh dear, what just happened there? Thought he was going to chip kick that ahead, but it goes into touch. So, line up just outside the 22 of England. Round by George finds it. Doge, they've been pretty good in the lineouts. Oh, is that a forward pass from from Owen Farrell? Yes, it is. So the Guru Dragons will be on the attack once again. I don't know what Farrell just said there. Seems like he's not happy with something, but he will just have to get over that. It's going to be a scrum feed to the Guru Dragons. Scrum looks good, solid scrum. Logan out to Gargone. Gargone goes for the drop goal and it's going over. So Gargone has found some ribbon with a drop goal and that puts the score down to 17 points to nil now. And things are looking pretty good for them. George Ford to restart this game again on the 66th minute mark. Can they keep England scoreless tonight? Nakabule finds a little bit of space. Now they're going out to Martian. And Martian gets tackled into touch. Run about on halfway. So England will have the line out throw. The first receiver has been pretty good for England in the lineouts in the form of Itoje he finds another one now forms a ruck 17 minutes gone in this game they're trying to maul it up but they're going backwards in the process now Sinclair oh my goodness they're taking forever to find the ball now oh big tackle from Logan Davies it's high and it's going to be a yellow card We've seen them getting away with some of it in the club games, but not on test level. So Logan Davies night is over as England has an opportunity to no, tap and go. Jamie George out to, Mar 
to Courtney Laws now. Curry out to Toje. Toje out to Vunipolo. They run about eight meters from the try line now. Kyle Sinclair, Itoje, he's going to score for England. Too little, too late for them. But I must say, I'm really, really impressed with the Guru Dragons tonight. Their defense have been good and their attack has been brilliant. But I must say, England do deserve this try. Poor defense there. But I don't think he would have been able to stop him anyway, even if he did manage to make the tackle. So some consolation for England there in the end. Owen <coughs> Farrell with the kick. That goes straight through the middle. So 17 points to 7 it is. The Guru Dragons over England. Restart been made, taken in by Underhill. The ruck has been formed. Now Ben Young's out to Tuilangi. He's been really quiet tonight. There goes the hooter, ladies and gentlemen. This is over. And I can't believe what I'm seeing. England totally dominated today, but Winnie Polo has a last say. Oh, Jamie, oh no, it's George Ford who got absolutely hammered there in the tackle. Now Farrell to Toje. It's Underhill again. So England wants to show some, some form towards the end of this game now. Sinclair, but that's forward. And that is going to be the game, ladies and gentlemen. Surely. So uh, a 17 points to 7 victory here for the Kuru Dragons tonight in this first test against England. Can't wait for the second test. They could wrap it all up. Right guys, this was the broadcast from the rugby guru until next time cheers for now